The wildlife in Hungary is spectacular. It is very special. There are many species that are doing very well in Hungary that are not doing well in many other countries in Europe and, and the Imperial Eagle is a very good example. That sort of wildlife attracts people to come and see it. People will come from all over Europe, maybe even all over the world. I, I was speaking to a guy yesterday who, who has visitors from the United States, from Spain and lots of other, and the UK who are coming to see some of these special species. And it is an asset. It is something that Hungary should be proud about. But along with that comes the responsibility to look after it. And that means that the laws that you have that are protecting it, the same as the laws across most of Europe, have to be enforced and the people who are breaking those laws by killing these protected species, they have to be targeted. Which means you need strong policing, you need a strong government commitment to look after its wildlife, and you need the courts to give meaningful sentences. And that doesn't just apply in Hungary, that applies as much in Scotland, in France, in Germany, in Spain, in Malta, in whichever country. Your wildlife is as valuable to you as the oil or the coal under the ground or the forests or the, the, the crops growing in the field. It is all an asset for this country and it would be wonderful for, to see Hungary make the most of that. So Hungary should be very proud of its wildlife. I'm delighted that I've been able to spend time here over the last three weeks and as well as hear about some of the problems, also enjoy some fantastic views of birds like imperial eagles and sakers and great bustards and things like that. I can't see any of those in, in Scotland, so it's very special for me and I look forward to coming back. And I hope when I do come back that the colleagues I have been working with can tell me our wildlife is doing well rather than hearing, oh, it's doing badly, I think that would be very sad.